Ryan Gumball Soup Soup Nuts. Thank you for visiting my channel and checking out my video. I appreciate it. So does my mom. So, today it's a scorcher. The scorcher, I tell ya. It's hot. Uh, I'm going to be working on the 350Z twin uh, Turbski project. Uh, I'm going to be putting the spoiler slash wing. I don't know the difference between the two. I think it's called a spoiler or what I have. Um, but, anyway, I'm going to be uh, working on and installing it. That's what's coming right to ya. You are tuned in to Ryan Campbell, Soup to Nuts. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Yeah. You. Uh, if you like this type of crap, you like watching an idiot working on a car doing dumb stuff, a dumb person doing dumb stuff, you're at the right place. And please give me a subscribe down here and a like and a comment and all that good crap. All right, with that being said, uh, I'm going to be putting on the, I got a carbon fiber spoiler from uh, Carbon Creations. Uh, so I'm going to be working on putting that on the back of the car. But it's uh, going to be a chopped up video a little bit because I actually have to get it uh, clear coated. And I'm thinking about having all my body kit stuff uh, painted by somebody rather than me doing it myself just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, and honestly, it'll probably turn out a little better anyway. But, uh, you know, if I'm going to be doing that, I haven't 100% decided, but I'm leaning towards doing that. But if I'm doing that, uh, I'm, regardless of what I'm doing, I want to get this uh, spoiler I got clear-coated. It just has, like, the gel coat on it. And I barely touched the damn thing, and it started, like, scuffing up. And I'm just like, no. Mm, no. So, I want to get uh, clear-coated. Uh, when I paint all the uh, body kit stuff as well, so it's gonna this video is gonna span a far distance. It's gonna be like today. I'm working on the uh, putting the you know, lining everything up, getting everything situated, putting the holes in it to mount it. But I'm not gonna be mounting it. I'm just getting everything lined up and, and ready to mount. So I'll be really quick later on, and then I'm gonna be getting it clear coated. Uh, so however long that takes, uh, and then. I'm going to come back to this video and fully mount it. So it's going to be kind of spread apart a long distance. So uh, you might see a few differences, you know, out of the corner of the camera's eye on the car. Because I'm going to be doing other stuff in the car in between the two. It's kind of like part A, part B, but it's like in one video. <laughs> one video. <sighs> I didn't take my pills this morning, so... That's what you're getting. All right, so um, I'll show you the back of the car. Uh, first, actually, I'll show you the wing first, the spoiler, uh, and then I'll show you the back of the car and kind of go over what I have to do. Uh, and then I'll get to getting it done. Okay. Actually, in one of my other, uh, I don't remember if it was a YouTube video or it might have been on Instagram, but you saw a big box. And I talked about what was coming. This is what's coming. This is what came in this box. Uh, it's from Carbon Creations. And I'll pull her out. This is the spoiler here. You can see the pretty carbon fiber. So it's like a, it, it has the effect of like half a duckbill. It doesn't go quite as tall as like a regular duckbill. Uh, I didn't want something that was like, you know, super dramatic and over the top. I like, you know, subtle but nice. Uh, so that's, that's what this guy is going to do for me here. So let me show you the back of the car and I'll go over the steps of uh, how I'm going to attack this. I'm going to clean off, use uh, waterless wash uh, to clean off the dust off the uh, trunk. Uh, and then this 350Z and this Nissan logo I actually have to pull off. So, and basically the way they're put on is basically just like double-sided tape of some sort. Um, so what I have to do is I get fishing line, which I had, you can't really, you can kind of see it. This little, almost looks like a hair. Got the fishing line. Uh, heat it up a little bit with the heat gun here. So I'm going to heat it up a little bit and then try to get the fishing line. You kind of saw back and forth to try to break the bond, you know, between the uh, double-sided tape and the car. So I'm going to do that on both of them. Uh, I'll probably try to get this off first, then I'll clean the whole chunk up with waterless wash. 
Uh, and then I might have to use like bug and tar remover or something like that if there's you know leftover adhesive or whatever the case is. Uh, so once I get it cleaned up, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take like um, craft paper of some sort that I have uh, laying around. Uh, I'm going to tape off. I'm going to basically lay across and like tape it to the trunk. Uh, and then I'm actually going to put uh, another layer like on the bottom of the uh, spoiler. Uh, so that way I can line up the holes. And um, so I'll put the holes in the paper uh, that I put on the bottom of the spoiler. And then I'll get the, I'll tape that to the spoiler itself. And then I'll put the spoiler onto the trunk, position it, make sure it's centered, front, back, all that good stuff, left, right. And then once it's centered, I'll peel the tape off that you know, has a second layer of tape to the spoiler. I'll peel that tape off and then tape it down onto the paper on the trunk. So that way, and then I can pull the wing up and then I know exactly where the holes will be. Uh, and then I'll just, I'll drill the holes. And then I'll just, you know, and that'll be that. And then I'll take everything off and clean it up and then you know, take the spoiler to get clear coated. Then I could bring it back and finish installing it. So first you're going to see is basically I'm going to be taking these two things off. Um, I might try videoing it first. I'll probably put some music or something to it, but just video me doing it. If it starts taking a while, then I'll probably do a time lapse. Uh, but I'm just, you know, I haven't done a lot of this. I've done, I've done some of this before. I don't know exactly how this is going to go being, you know, how old it is and, you know, depends on how, what type of tape they use or whatever the case. I don't know how hard this is going to be to get off. If it comes off somewhat easily, I'll just do a whole video, I'll just video the whole section, the whole part of doing it, but if not, you're going to see some uh, time lapse. Hey, hey, hey. I got it off, Pa! I did it! <laughs> you can see there's still some residue left here from the uh, adhesive. Uh, so I'm gonna try some like uh, bug and tar remover or adhesive. Uh, I think I might have some bumper sticker remover I might try. Uh, let's get off. You saw on this one, I broke a ton of fishing line. One, the fishing line I had is old as hell. Two, I'm not a fisher, it might be crap line anyway. Three, this was really the problem. Uh, you can see one broke. The other one probably broke too and went inside. But you can see there was these tabs. See the one piece moving? Uh, there was a tab here, tab here for alignment. You know, you can see in the holes here. Uh, so it creates a little bit of an edge. So while I was going behind it with a line, I kept catching on and ripping. And I thought there might be something behind, you know, like a tab, like an alignment tab or something. But I wasn't sure because I haven't taken off the Nissan tab off this car before. So. Uh, I'm Nissan badge off this car before, so I wasn't sure. So I'm gonna clean this up off camera, bumper sticker remover or bug guitar remover. I'm gonna try both, see which one works best. So I'll get it cleaned up and then I'll come back and um, I'll, I'll clean it off a waterless wash. Uh, and then I'm gonna tape it, put the paper on, tape the paper on, um, and then I'll come back. I'll show you how I have everything set up, and then I'll show you, you know, put I'll show you like what the wing looks like when it's kind of I'm gonna tape it on or kind of hold it on in place um, and I'll just kind of keep walking you along here. I got the two holes down here. I got the one hole here and other hole here and what I did you got the one threaded hole there and you got another threaded hole here so what I did is I put a little just stud there's a threaded stud into here so it was sticking out maybe a quarter inch or so or three-eighths of an inch and then I lined it up on the trunk and then I put sponges. So I lined it up on. The, I had it on the trunk. I lined it up. Uh, I did this off camera because it was kind of it took me a while. It was tedious, and I was trying to figure out the best way. And just it took me a few hours actually to to finally commit. Too, I was kind of nervous. I'm still a little bit nervous because I ain't test fit it yet. Uh, but I put a sponge 
I put one sponge here, a sponge in the middle, and a sponge on that side, so that way it kept it a little bit elevated. And then once I had it kind of lined up, then I pressed straight down, like you know, where the, on top where the stud is, on top of the spoiler. Pressed down so that way the threaded the thread stud I had in the wing or the spoiler uh, made a little bit of a mark on the paint. So it scratched the paint slightly, which is what I wanted it to do. So then I just drilled holes where the marks were. So, uh, fingers crossed, this works and it lines up. Um, I might have to make the hole slightly larger if I need a little bit of uh, wobble room. But I'm going to try to test fit it now. And so the bolts, you kind of see there's a hole here that you see that light there? That's the hole. Same thing over here. So it's it, pretty good that it, where it lines up. Which is nice. Maybe this is like factory option where they put the wing. I don't know. I really have no idea. But uh, I'm going to try to test fit it and then I'll bring you back with either good news or bad news. I'm hoping. Good. All right. It lines up very, very well. It. I'm happy. So I got the bolts in. So you can see one bolt there. And one bolt right there. I didn't crank the crap out of them. But I got it in and lined up. Sorry, I'm kind of—it's kind of close to the garage door, so it's. I'm sorry for the close-up shots, but that's that's the girl. That is the girl. So um, when I do the final mounting, I am going to use 3M mount tape all the way around the perimeter of the whole thing, uh, and obviously I will tighten the bolts down when I do that, but. Uh, I'm going to leave it on here just for now until I'm ready to take all the body stuff uh, to get painted. Uh, I'm probably going to take it to get painted. Uh, if I paint it myself, then I'll paint it myself. But I'm going to leave it here for now. But um, you'll see later in this video because I'm going to edit it. It's all in one video. But this is, there's going to be a huge gap in actual time between right now and final putting it on. Uh, but next step, basically, you've got to take this off, clear coat it. Um, if you can see, it's it's scratching. I mean, ridiculously easy. Um, it's just I don't know if it's coming out on camera or not, but it's just I mean, I'm just looking at it and it's scratching if I cross my eyes. So now take it off. I'm gonna get it uh, clear coated or clear coated myself, depending on if I do the painting myself or not. But next step, take this off, clear coat it, and I'll be able to put this back on. Um, so I'll be putting that back on and then a uh, similar time you'll probably see this video might see the body kit stuff going on because the painting should happen at the same time. Um, so you should see the rear bumper and the side skirts and front bumper going on. I don't know if that's all going to be one video or how I'm going to break that up but uh, it's going to be somewhat similar timing. Uh, so uh, next you'll see in this video even though it's a long time or a decent time for me. Uh, from now, I'm done for tonight, but next thing you're going to see is this clear coated. I'll come back, I'll do a video showing the actual clear coat, how it looks. So you kind of see now, I'll show you a little bit now, you kind of see a little bit of waviness in the uh, gel coat and the carbon fiber. You see how all the reflections are kind of wavy, the light reflection, you can kind of see it's it's really squiggly, it's, it's pretty wavy. So the clear coat should make it look you know, like a body panel looks, how things are fairly straight and, you know, it's, it seems very, fairly level. So, next you'll see is the finished product of this being clear coated. Alright, it's been a minute since I filmed a lot of the crap with the carbon fiber spoiler. That uh, was a while ago. It is now painted, or I, I clear coated it, uh, and it's actually installed as well fully, 100%, onto the vehicle. So I'm going to show you uh, it installed, explain what I did, and take things from there. You can see the carbon fiber installed on the 350's h one turbo. Uh, so got it all on. Uh, previously in the video you saw me uh, drill the two bolt holes through the uh, deck lid, uh, through the hatch, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't care what you call it, that's none of my business. What is my business is telling you what I did. So, uh, you saw me drill the holes for two bolts. So, I do have the two bolts up in there now. I have the plastic underneath, like in the trunk. I have the plastic up so you can't see them anymore. Uh, like the factory plastic trim crap. Uh, I did use Loctite. Is this spider? Uh, 
I did use Loctite, uh, so that way they don't come out. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And then along the front edge, from like kind of about here all the way around, same thing, like wrapped right around the front edge there. Uh, I used 3M, uh, I think it's called VHB Very High Bond Tape. Uh, it's like a double sided tape, almost like tarish. Uh, so I was kind of doing that, figuring, uh, to keep the front edge down, uh, like close to the car as much as possible, tight to the car as much as possible. Uh, so I'm thinking, you know, to try to keep, you know, keep it from lifting up type of thing. Uh, so hopefully, uh, that sticks around for me and, uh, life goes great. There you have it. Ah, ah. Another project checked off the damn list. Um, so, uh, I know that was a bit of a gap in the video, even though you probably don't even really know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, basically, button that up. Uh, video is coming up soon, shortly. I should have a uh, cool, like, reveal video of the whole car, like, going, like, kind of like a full car reveal. Go over the whole car, show you, you know, do like a whole cold start, here running, driving, all that good crap. It's been tuned already, uh, so uh, you want to stay tuned. Why do you think I got it tuned? To keep you tuned. Use, use the old noggin, come on, get, get with it, use the noggin. So you want to stay tuned for that, I'm also going to be... <coughs> So you're going to be seeing, I'm going to be uh, sprinkling in some driving videos, and you're also going to be seeing, I'm going to do a garage you know, kind of remodel, uh, painting, kind of reorganizing things. I'm going to make the workbench a little bit bigger, make things life a little bit easier in here. So uh, if you're into like, you know, garage makeover videos, I, I honestly, I am. Uh, I love watching garage makeover videos. So you want to stay tuned for that. I'm sorry, my, uh, my arms have a life of their own today. Got some muscle twitches going on. So stay tuned for all that crap. Please, please. Uh, give me a like, comment, follow, share. Do everything. Just do it all. What a, uh, in the meantime, don't forget, drive fast, take chances. <laughs>